Oh. Welcome to the vodcast. <laughs> Mm -mm. Did you know it's National uh, Gourmet Coffee Day? Not just any coffee day, it's National Gourmet Coffee Day. And I must say that lately, I've been getting a little fancy with my coffee. For years, I just settled on the cheapest, usually. Like, as long as it was a decent flavor, it was donut shop flavored, or your, you know, your typical Dunkin' Donuts ripoff. I even like the Dunkin' Donuts store coffee, but the fact of the matter is it's like six or seven dollars a pound, whereas I can get the store brand for like three twenty-five a pound. And when you're living on uh, the mean streets of Lynchburg, you gotta watch your pockets, so. But recently, a friend of ours bought us a pound of Ethiopian, I can't remember the other word. If I can remember it, I'll put it on the screen. I will, because that's what I do. Hashtag whatever that coffee was. It's a, it was really, really good. It was distinctly good. Like it was uniquely good um, in a sense that like, <sighs> or in a way that I have never tasted coffee like that good before. Um, almost to the point where I didn't need to put cream or sugar, but I had already put Quick story, we were over at our friend Katie's house last week and they were making coffee. Uh, this coffee, I think, the, the coffee that I was just raving about. And they brewed a pot of it and I asked her, she was uh, doing the dishes and she's like, oh, the sugar's in the green thing behind me. Well, there was a little container that had white granulated, you know where this is going, granulated powder in it. It was cocaine. No, it wasn't cocaine. It was salt. And I put a whole like teaspoon of salt in my coffee and just took a huge sip of it. And if you, uh, now a pinch of salt in coffee, especially a bitter coffee, will really kind of play with it and, and give it a little dynamic. However, in this case, putting a whole spoonful in was one of the grossest things I've ever had in my mouth. With that being said, I'm hoping that this also will not be the grossest thing I ever put in my mouth, or one of the grossest things. That's right, these are the limited edition Oreo, the most stuff, most cream ever. Speak for yourself, Oreo. <laughs> uh, you hear that? It's just, I can't get better. Probably gonna be, this is probably my last video. It was nice, thanks for tuning in all these years, guys. No, I'm just teasing, I just don't feel good. But coffee always makes me feel better. Oh, coffee, you're my bestest friend. All right, let's get on with this. Um, first of all, we all know what an Oreo tastes like. We know what a double-stuffed Oreo tastes like. Maybe you're lucky enough to know what a mega-stuffed Oreo tastes like, and I think there is a super... I think there's three, or this may be the fourth. I can't remember. Either way, I'm glad this is a limited edition thing because I like Oreos. I like Oreos straight. I don't even like the double stuffed Oreos. It's already too much stuffing, too much cream in my mouth all at once. However, um, maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe having way too much changes the dynamic of the cookie altogether and you start eating it as something different other than an Oreo cookie that you're used to. So what I want to do is as I, as I devour these one after another, I want to see if I want to see if they can change my mind. I want to see if they did something different to this to give it a new flavor profile. Obviously there's more cream, but is there something else going on here? I think it's about time that we found out. Let's bust in and have our, our first whiff. Oh, see that? There is a lift flab. I hate when they're all... I complain when there isn't a lift tab, flab, flap, flap tab. And I complain when I can't get it to pull. Oh, there we go. I just need an edge. Just need a little edge sometimes. Hmm. Ooh. Well, surprise, surprise, they, they smell like Oreos. Wow. Good. You gotta take a look at this. That is some thick Oreos. This is insane. Look at this. Have you ever taken two Oreos apart and then put them back together again? That's probably, quite possibly, even more than when you do that with two Oreos. That is a massive amount of cream. Look at that. I guess we're just gonna try this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to break it in half. Look at, look at the cream just pouring out. Oh, oh. I almost lost it. That would have been a catastrophe. <coughs> Get out of this video, I swear to Christ, I swear to God. Baby Jesus, I will murder your face. Okay, here we go. 
<laughs> oh, the cream overload. <laughs> like a cream volcano just erupted in my mouth. Mmm. Oh, here comes the tsunami of cream. Oh. Ooh. This is a truly natural disaster in the cookie world. Oh, it's yucky. Oh, it's so yucky. If you like the cream, you'll love it. See, there's a balance. There's a balance in an Oreo. There is a thin chocolatey flavored cookie, cocoa flavored cookie, on one side and on the other side. And in the middle is about the equal amount of cream. And the balance makes everything in the universe just work the way it's supposed to. When you throw this much cream into an Oreo cookie, you are asking for trouble right off the bat. Like, this is, this is dangerous. Somebody's going to get hurt. It's, it's too much cream. It's everybody who probably picked this up and said, I'm going to review this on YouTube because I'm awesome. After all is said and done, there is too much cream in these cookies. I'm going to try it in milk. This disaster is sloppy. Oh, and always, Jess and Herbie, shout out to you for sending me this mug. Maybe I should fill that with cream and just dip my fingers in it throughout the day and just lick them in public. I go to the mall in a jogging suit. Just dip my fingers in the cream. Watch people shop. Kick service animals. No, I wouldn't kick a service animal. I will kick your dog, though. Give me five bucks. I will fly to where you are and I'll kick your dog. No, I won't. It's terrible. I always thought it would be a good record label name, though. Kick your dog records. I'll kick your dog. I have a t-shirt. My friend Jess made it for me. It says, I'll kick your dog. Should have put it on for this video. Okay, well, interesting enough, the milk helps a little bit. Perhaps I was a little distracted serving you a nice order of comedy goodness. But it doesn't, it doesn't save the day. But all things considered, it's not terrible. It's just, it's, I can feel my teeth rotting in my mouth right now. There's so much sugar. I will not eat another one of these. Like, I feel bad. I will send these to Carol's work. Or if you want them, come by. Get some cookies. I don't care, because I'm not eating these. This are, I can, it hurts. Like, if there, there must be little holes in my teeth that I should probably be, have filled at some point. And it's just going right to those little holes. It's just like, these were designed to destroy us as humans and separate us. Just like politics and religion. The cream quantity and, well, quality inside of an Oreo cookie is going to destroy humanity. This one, particularly. Alright, before I let you go, I just got to make one of these. I'm not going to eat it because already it's too much cream. But I just want to see if you were to double. Okay, so this is a double the most stuff Oreo. Look at that. That is over an inch of, of cookie goodness. Well, or not goodness. Especially if you don't like the cream. Because I, I really don't like that amount of cream. I like the cream. Just not that amount of cream. Fascinating. Really fascinating stuff. Science and technology. Science. Science and technology. Brought to you by silent, Silence of the Technology. Brought to you by Science and Technology. Alright, thank you guys for checking this out. And sticking around and coming back and smacking those like buttons and subscribing and all that fun stuff. Um, if you are loving watching these as much as I am loving making them, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. That all helps me out. Um, don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. I am Jason Oliver. This has been the vodcast, the review of the limited edition Oreo the most stuff. Way too much cream in my mouth. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves because they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is the Vodcast. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road in the next episode of Whatever May Come This Way.